Salem. This is Megan from CC Media here with the Severin Sisters for Make Music Day 2023. How are y'all feeling today? Good. We're great. The sun's out. Yeah, yeah. It's gorgeous today. Lots of people out and about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no sunburns yet that I see uh, on y'all. Maybe feet a little bit. Uh, I mean, I always burn, so right? that's just yeah. me. Same boat. I can feel it happening now. Mm -hmm. I'm like, right. you know what? It's Make Music Day. It's the summer solstice, longest day of the year. Of course, I'm going to get sunburned. <laughs> so right. to get started, I'd love to hear a little bit more about the Severn Sisters, the type of music you play. So we do a combination of bluegrass and country. We do some originals and we do um, some covers as well. Today we played earlier as a trio doing more of the bluegrass stuff and then um, this evening playing at the amphitheater we've got our five piece um, which will have uh, drums and electric guitar as well. So more some uh, like country cover tunes and stuff as well. That's awesome. Yeah. And are y'all sisters or is that just part of the name? We are sisters. In fact, we're twin sisters. Oh, I'm and a twin. Okay. Haley's the baby. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. What's it like playing with music with your family? I love it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, it's to me, it's like getting to have the best hobby with the best people. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, getting to spend time with the girls and getting to do something we all are really passionate about and then, you know, sometimes get paid for it, you know, get to go to all the fun events. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. It's I think it's fantastic. Yeah, it definitely helps, um, you know, being siblings. Uh, I think that we're able to connect, you know, with those harmonies and stuff a little bit more. Um, so, yeah. What was it like growing up in your house? Were you always just singing together, playing music together? When did that kind of start? So for Heidi and I, um, we were around nine, right? Yeah, nine when we, we decided to start playing um, guitar and then violin for her. And we just... We decided we wanted to play together, and the best way to do that is folk music. Mm -hmm. So thank goodness the Salem Public Library hooked us up with some really great um, folk tune books. And so we were able to start playing together, and then, you know, once you're kind of in the folk music genre, you know, it's easy to go to bluegrass. Mm -hmm. And then Haley's always been singing. Always, always, always been, had a beautiful voice uh, from the time she was just itty-bitty. She was, you know, singing in the shower, singing in the bath, mm -hmm. singing when she would wake up. So we used to call her Haley Bird because she had that just beautiful voice. I will say when uh, we growing up and playing music, we figured out really quickly that we could get out of chores mm -hmm. if we were in our rooms practicing. So <laughs> we were never bored. We were always playing music. Oh, well, that works out well. I'm sure your parents loved that. What do they think about y'all playing together professionally even now? Oh, they love it. They mm -hmm. they think it's really fun, and you know they're they're proud of getting to see us do this together and enjoy each other's company. Yeah. Do you write all your own music together as well? We write some music. We don't write all of it, mm -hmm. and um, we've been actually talking about getting back into writing some more and maybe do another um, album that we could record. Ooh. Which would be really fun. Yeah, that sounds awesome. And are you all from the Salem area as well? Yes. Oh, perfect. And so have you been to Make Music Day before? Yeah, we played, what was it? 2017, mm -hmm. 18, 19, I don't know. Something like that, yeah. Maybe it's 2018. Pre-pandemic, that's yes, exactly. all we can Everything tell. else is a blur. It's like pre-pandemic, <laughs> blur, and then here we are. Yes, and now we're here today, and time doesn't make sense for any of us. Oh, it doesn't. <laughs> I completely understand. How do you think that your musical style has changed with those pandemic years coming out of that? Or do you think it's changed at all? I think we've just kind of relaxed into just doing whatever we really, what, whatever brings us joy music wise mm -hmm. rather, you know, not that there was really much pressure before, but I think just playing music for the heck of it, just whatever we want to do, you know, yeah. you like I a think, song, let's work it up. I think also we probably play with a little bit more gratitude mm -hmm. when we get to play live because mm -hmm. playing in front of a live audience is totally different than just playing in your living room. That's practice. And mm -hmm. so we play with much more gratitude now yeah yeah I'm definitely extra grateful for any any kind of live show we get to do it just it feels we feel lucky to be able to do it again yeah that's really awesome Haley I'm curious what you think of all of this with the music especially Haley Bird the singer you know <laughs> now you sing with your sisters all the time oh for sure yeah I mean I grew up watching their shows before I became involved mm -hmm. um, 
and it's been really interesting trying to forge my own place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but I think at this point, we're getting to the point where we're all pretty comfortable and we're working as a team, you know, um, and I think that we're all better off for it. I agree. <laughs> yeah, that's so, awesome. Yeah. What would you say has been your most joyful moment performing together so far? I think honestly, the, the first time we played, um, so we took like a mini, probably a decade off of playing mm -hmm. music. Um, we were a little bit burnt out. Mm -hmm. um, we went to college and stuff. So I think the, the first real public performance that we did, which was the World Beat Festival, mm -hmm. which is coming up this weekend and we'll mm -hmm. actually be there. Uh, but it was the World Beat Festival. The three of us played, um, and I don't know why we did a 90 minute set. It was a very long set, like but it, and it was, it was a, like record high, 104 or something. It was so much fun. And I think that's probably the most joyful time. I don't know about you girls, but. I mean, I think I agree. Like, that was such a big moment, getting to do, you know, this this thing that we, we'd done for years and getting to have Haley in there. And like she said, you know, forging her own way in in this group, she's she really has. And, like, now mm -hmm. she sings the majority of the music, and I love that. It's great. Like, I'll sing, too, but just to get to see Haley doing her thing up there, rocking it on the bass, you know, just kicking... <laughs> you know what, mm -hmm. uh, with her voice. It's just, I am just bursting with pride. She's amazing. Oh my gosh, it is so nice <laughs> seeing all y'all. You can tell that you guys are family, which is really <laughs> special. And it's something that you don't get to see a lot, I think, with a lot of musicians. Or you'll see the family bands that then end up, you know, hating each other, right. <laughs> breaking up like the Jonas Brothers. But that's not <laughs> happening here, which we love to see. How do you think that your music shapes your life? I mean, it's such a huge part of my life. It's, you know, my biggest hobby right now. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, getting to think about what I'm doing on the weekends and it's it's going to involve something like likely something mm -hmm. with these two doing some show, especially in the summer. And, you know, it's just incredibly joyful. I would say music, you know, it's stability mm -hmm. for a lot of people. Um, it's always been and always will be, and it's something that, you know, helps a lot of people get through hard times and good times, celebrations, sad times, uh, and it's just that stability for a lot of people, and that's what music is to me. It's something that's always been there for us. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. kind of an anchor. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I agree. That's awesome. Haley, you have anything you want to add about that? Um, well, for me, I would say that music definitely brings balance to my life. Mm. Um, I work in the veterinary field, so it's very technical. Very, like, I love what I do, but mm -hmm. um, a lot more science-based, a lot more fact-based. Mm -hmm. um, and so being able to have a creative outlet that's not black and white facts, you know, being able to just kind of make something new, um, I think is, is really important to have. That's so great. And live concerts and live events like Make Music Day are so important. Give me that mic. <laughs> They're so important um, because it's all about connection and yeah. human connection. And you know, you, you don't get that same connection on the radio. When you can mm -hmm. see the musicians, their fingers, the strings, and, mm -hmm. and you can feel the vibration of the bass and everything mm -hmm. in person, it's, it's just, yeah, it's really amazing. Oh, it's so special, and we're so glad that y'all are out here. So excited to hear your set as a huge Bluegrass fan. I was stoked when I was going through and listening to everyone's songs. I was like, wow, this is great. I'm, I'm super excited. Are there any new releases or events that you guys want to plug while you're here? We'll be at the World, World Beat Festival on World Friday. Beat. I was like, I just blanked on everything <laughs> yeah. I do. Wait, I play music? What? Yes. Yeah, Where am I? What is going <laughs> on? I? Am I a musician? Yeah, I'm right. certainly not. So. <laughs> so World Beat this Friday, yes. At the amphitheater stage. Right, yeah. yeah the, amphitheater the amphitheater stage. stage. Perfect. Well, it's we will see you back here then, because yeah, yeah. CC Media will also be here for fantastic. World Beat. Wonderful. So, yeah, it'll be fantastic. Is there anything you want to leave the listeners with before we cut back to Make Music Day? Thank you for supporting live music um, and the Salem music scene and continue to listen, continue to go to live shows. Take and your kids to live shows. It mm -hmm. makes a huge difference. That's what inspired mm -hmm. us to play was going to live shows. Yeah, those are the, the core memories you really want, mm -hmm. those really positive ones. Oh, I love that. Awesome. Well, from CC Media, this is Megan here with the Severin Sisters. Thanks for tuning in. Please welcome the talented and lovely Severin Sisters.
Thank you so much. And thank you for joining us on this absolutely gorgeous evening. What a perfect day for making music. We're so excited to be able to celebrate today and be a part of it. We played earlier. I see some uh, familiar faces from uh, our show earlier downtown um, in front of the Edge. So thanks for coming for this show as well. And those of you who are just joining us, come on and have a seat or don't. Dance if you want to. That'd be great. We love that. Thank you. I got to shout out our amazing lead vocalist and bass player over here. Everyone, let's hear it for Haley. Thank you. And in case anyone has been wondering, yes, we are sisters. Well, the three of us up here, these guys are not our sisters. Um, they are fabulous, and we love having them. We've got Sam Wells back here on electric guitar. And we've got Tyler Winter back here playing the drums. And I'll tell you more about this one this a little bit later. <laughs>
right, it's banjo time, right? <laughs> I mean, to me, every, all the time is banjo time. We're gonna do a piece uh, some of you might recognize. It's called Creepin' In. And if you know it, go ahead and sing along. I mean, you know, stay, stay out there, please. But, but go ahead and sing along. It'd be great. to introduce this gal over here picking up a storm. Yes, you. We're going to play a bluegrass medley here, so lots of banjo picking on this one. Let's make her feel welcome. Amy Scott. That's mighty sweet of you. She's my favorite twin. Favorite one I could ever ask for, and she's Fabulous mandolin fiddle player. She's a great person, too. We really love her very, very much. This is Heidi Weigel. And yes, at one point we were Severin. Just, you know, things change. At heart, we're still the Severins, right? Always. Right, always. <laughs> now, question, do you want the banjo in tune or out of tune? Doesn't matter. No, I'm kidding. Just... <laughs> Thank you. 
Feature Haley again on this uh, this next vocal. It's one we get uh, requests for quite a lot because she just does a fabulous job on it. No pressure. No pressure. No pressure. <laughs> but you know, Haley, everyone's listening and you're being recorded. And, you know all that. But all right, I'll sleep great tonight. Thanks. You'll sleep great tonight. This is a uh, Haley singing. I hope you dance.
I saw some awesome dancing, first of all, just all around here, so keep doing that. That was wonderful. And I saw some people singing along, too. I love that. See, this is the great thing about live music, is people get together, you know, you may not feel comfortable enough singing on stage, but, you know, you'll sing along with the concert going on. I love that. Uh, I have such just fantastic memories growing up coming to live music, and that's what got uh, me so inspired and so passionate about playing music. And so, you know, good for you for supporting live music and enjoying yourself and being out here tonight. Oh, okay. She secretly runs everything. <laughs> We're gonna do another one you may recognize. It's a Lady Gaga song, not bad romance. It's a million reasons. I love that, yeah, see? Bluegrass and, you know, rah, rah, not so much, but this is Million Reasons. coming out and listening to us stick around lords of lords of blackpool are on next they're fabulous you want to stick around for more live music you want to watch them we're going to take it out with a piece called howling at the moon enjoy 
just a second. Take a little time for sunshine, take a whole lot of time for love. Take time to praise and thank heaven up above. Take your life as it may come, cause boy it'll be gone soon. Take a little time for howling at the moon. Thank you so much. Have a great evening. Stick around for Lords of Blackpool. <laughs>